as we draw our diagram, we know that the labor supply, which we call LS of theta, you know, it never affected by wages, so it's unaffected. by the minimum wage and what about the labor demand well the labor demand do you remember that the expression for the labor demand is going to be uh, alpha times a which we have derived from first maximization then we always have this 1 plus tau of theta, where tau of theta is the rooftop plus the ratio alpha, 1 over 1 minus alpha, and then we have our wedge here, right? Uh, and the wedge, of course, is the minimum wedge in that case. So when we're going to affect the minimum wedge, we're actually going to affect the labor demand. Okay, so that's the key channel here. The minimum wedge is going to... Uh, the minimum wedge is going to affect uh, the labor market equilibrium by affecting the labor demand. Uh, and so in particular, you can see that the uh, wage shows up in the denominator of our labor demand. So when the minimum wage is high, the labor demand will be depressed. When the minimum wage is low, the labor demand will be really stimulated. Okay, so that's really the mechanism. Everything, when we think about a minimum wage in this basic model, everything is going to go through that labor demand. So we can uh, draw a labor market diagram and just have a look at what happened, but it's going to be pretty simple. Um, so we are going to look at an uh, increase in minimum wage. Okay, so uh, let's draw a labor market diagram. So let's put the y-axis where we put our tightness, the x-axis where we put employment, size of the labor force, so labor force is going to be H, employment L, tightness theta. Okay, so let's start with the labor oh, and, and here we have our uh, zero of the labor market. So let's start with our labor supply, which always has the same shape and which will not be affected by the minimum wage. So here I'm going to look. So we have you know standard labor market with a downward sloping um, labor demand. So you know we can draw labor demand something like this. You remember that um, the intersection of the labor demand and the y-axis gives you this tightness theta n, where firms you know, don't want to hire more workers. So that's our labor demand LD of theta. And that's our initial equilibrium. So um, what prevails on the labor market under this supply and demand. Then we have employment tightness and of course here unemployment okay and so now we're asking um, we're asking what happens if the minimum wage w goes up Okay, so the labor supply we said is not going to be affected by the minimum wage um, because you know the matching process is not affected, the labor force participation is not affected, but the labor demand is going to be affected. So we know that when we increase the minimum wage, it's going to be more costly for firms to hire workers, and so that's going to depress the labor demand, okay, uh, which appears very clearly on the labor demand expression here. Uh, the wage it's in the denominator, you increase wages, basically you increase the minimum wage, you make workers less profitable, 
you're going to, uh, to depress your labor demand. So once we increase the minimum wage, your labor demand is going to become something like this. So you have a new labor demand with a minimum wage that goes like this. Uh, that's when, our, uh, when the minimum wage goes up. Okay? <coughs> so the labor demand, the theta is going to fall. So what happens to uh, in equilibrium, you know, so you depress your labor demand. Well, so it means that in your equilibrium, you're going to have a lower tightness and you can see it here. So that's your new equilibrium. You have a new tightness theta prime, which is lower. So tightness is going to fall. Okay. And of course, because it's a shift in, uh, it's a drop in labor demand, your employment is also going to fall. So we have lower employment like this. And lower tightness. So tightness falls, employment falls, and what happens to unemployment? Well, of course, now unemployment is much larger. Unemployment goes up. Okay, so that's uh, that's the effect. So it's pretty simple. That's the effect of <coughs> excuse me of an increase in minimum wage. So. A higher minimum wage has very clear-cut effects here. Lower tightness, lower employment, higher unemployment. And of course, if you reduce the minimum wage, um, which is kind of what has, at least in terms of federal minimum wage, that's what has happened over the past um, 40 years, uh, the effect would be exactly opposite. You reduce the minimum wage, you're going to boost labor demand, you'll increase tightness, increase employment and reduce unemployment. Okay, it's completely symmetrical. 